Toasted Fiddler. Pretty excited for this one. Let's go. I'm your drinking buddy. All right, drinking buddies, before we get started, I got to remind you guys to hit the like button. And most of all, I need you guys to hit the subscribe button. I need to hit that 10,000 subscribers. You will make my day if you subscribe. Make my day. You can do this. So, I don't know, a year and a half or so ago, maybe two years, I think about a year and a half ago, I found the Georgia Hartwood Fiddler on the shelf at Total Wine. Um, I saw it. I didn't know anything about it. And I was just starting to get to know some of the crazy Total Wine folks. Uh, not the people who work there, but the crazy people like me who wait for bottles out front. And uh, Jim, who's shared a number of uh, samples with the channel, including a couple blinds, um, said that this was really good. Uh, so props to Jim for introducing me to the brand. Um, and uh, I picked it up and I've been a fan ever since. Um, this toasted, they did send to me. So, you know, I've paid for their bottles in the past. I have a few of their products. Um, but they did send this to me. So cards on the table. Uh, it was, you know, from the distillery, but that doesn't mean that I'm not going to share my honest fin opinion. And if it's terrible, I will tell you. But it certainly doesn't smell terrible. Um, I don't know if the idea of toasted just brings the idea in my head of toasted marshmallows, because toasted marshmallows. Also like a to oh, like toasted coconut. <sighs> just toasty, roasty toasted. Also, you know, your classic bourbon stuff, your caramels, your vanillas. That is very unique. Um, it is 120.6 proof. I would, I'm saying it's drinking a little hotter than that. Really nice, really great viscosity, long finish. Very caramely, a little maple, brown sugar. Um, all sweetness, it's very sweet. It's like, you know, that that Woodford Double Oak, that that uh, Old Forster 1910 level of sweetness where, you know, if you're not a sweet person, it might even be borderline too much. So if you're not a sweet bourbon person, this is probably not for you, but I'm digging this. I think the real highlight here is the mouthfeel. It is really great. Um, just really look, ooh, there's a little banana thing on the tip of my tongue. Um, just really great mouthfeel, great viscosity. I think this is going to be one that I'm gonna recommend. Um, I know I recommend a lot of bottles, you can't buy them all, but if this is something you're interested in, I am saying that it is good. Uh, FYI, it is the 45% um, wheat mash bill out of MGP that they have finished for three months with the toasted, um, the heavy toasted barrel uh, in Georgia. Um, five years, nine months was the original age before it was finished. So it's about six years old, um, which for MGP is kind of young, but I still enjoy, I'm enjoying it. Uh, I'm not sure the price. I know the Hartwood Fiddler is about 90. So I'm not sure the price. I'll put it right here if I can find it, but it, since it's a new release, I might not know yet. Anyway, drinking buddies. Uh, hope you get to try this. Cheers. We'll see you on the next one. I'm your drinking bud.